Hey guys, it's obviously with 7th and Lotus, and we are here today at the Let's Talk event hosted by Raquel Smith and Ty Hunter, Beyonce's fabulous stylist and some of the greatest stylists in the world. So we're here with Rome, our director, and we're gonna check out the event, see what they're talking about, tips for stylists and just people who are in the entertainment business. So come join us and have a good time. Here in Atlanta, the title Let's Talk. Could you guys tell us more about this? Oh, well, let's talk. Well, actually, Raquel came up with this event, but what happens is a lot of kids always send us DMs on social media, always asking us, How can I get in a business? So just have questions that will give me motivation, help me keep going. How do I, you know, from small towns or whatever? And me being from Texas, country boy, and Raquel being from Atlanta, Southern Belle end up working for the biggest uh, entertainment in the world. So we just kind of want to let them know that you can do and be anything you want to be. Don't let your environment you know, keep holding you down. Exactly. Raquel? Pretty much, that's, he nailed it. Um, <laughs> he nailed it. I mean, this is like a great way for us to be intimate with everyone and to give them some knowledge and background about us that's more personal that we haven't been really exposed before. Yeah. So I just think this is great for everybody. It's a great moment for us. And you guys are the best of friends. How did you guys meet? Well, this one. <laughs> We like, I, I always call us the uh, Lucy and Ricard, Ricky and Ricard. We yeah. argue all the time. We fight anybody. Yeah. Else, or, yeah. We might not be able to do so this, but we're going to fight. I'm going to lay her out. Right. It's going to be just though. let's, because we ain't talking. Come talk. to the next one, too. <laughs> 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 and the showroom and all that. But right. we, that's, just, that's just that's we real. But um, Raquel was working. She was an intern at um, Casa Darion. Yes. And she was a hard worker. And I, it was just me and Miss Tina at the time. Mm -hmm. And most of the time. After this team, like with this tie issue, it was me by myself. And I didn't have interns, I didn't have anyone to help me. Like everything was just me. And when I met Raquel, we just instantly hit it off and I trust her and she's a hard worker and we've been together ever since. That's the story. Okay. The <laughs> end. So what what has it been like to you, Raquel, working with the biggest entertainer of the world? Because I'm going to make her talk. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I mean, I have no problem talking, but it's been an awesome experience. I mean, I'm learning from the best in the crowd. These are some fashionistas, Beyonce, Ty Hunter, Miss mm -hmm. Tina Knowles. Like, I'm learning from the best. You can't get no better than that. So they have really showed me the crowd of styling, and I have really just went and grabbed it myself mm -hmm. with the knowledge they have provided for me. Mm -hmm. And here I am today, still going, 11 years. Awesome. What was you guys' favorite style moment if you have one? I would have to say mine would be, uh, I say it all the yeah. time, but crazy in love. Mm -hmm. It was the first time I actually saw me turn into a woman in the monitor. It was a moment for me, you know, going from this to job, the transition from each girl, solo project that I had to work alone until Raquel came. And, um, Destiny Child again, and then each girl solo project to launch mm -hmm. Destiny Child again. But um, I would say Crazy in Love, it was a great moment to be able to have a high fashion moment and to be able to thank you, Versace. They allowed me to pull the whole collection for the dancers as well. So they were able to have this huge fashion show in front of this fan that really was our And for me, I don't want to say it's the tour life. Mm -hmm. To come in and to do all this crazy, amazing wardrobe and to work with like some of the top fashion designers and up and the common designers and to travel the world and with all the quick changes, all the wardrobe complications and everything, just the mixture of everything together, and that was an amazing experience for me. Okay, and the last question, so everybody else can do their interviews, is um, what is some advice that you have for up and coming stylists, whether it's in 
tips you can give them? I, I would say just be true to yourself. Know who you are. Know your worth. Believe in yourself. Learn as much as you can about your craft. Get in there and go for it. Don't complain about nothing. Hard work will pay off. And just go for it. Grind to make it to you reach your goal. My advice would be, it, it's not about you, it's about your client. A lot of times, when, you know, people get into this business, they feel like, you know, I'm the stylist and they're fabulous. I've showed up at the Met before in cargo pants and a t-shirt because I didn't have a chance to go get dressed. So, learn your client, it's not about you until afterwards. Take care of your client, make sure your client is good, and just stay humble. That, if you stay humble, you'll go far. Thank you. So well. Thank you. Thank you.